Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Shoot, we got some wild card games to be watching in the NFL. So let me make this quick. You know what I'm saying? We know Brady and them is out, which, you know, people talk about Bishop Tom Brady. You know, he got to retire. Whatever. Six rings, ain't nobody else got him. You know what I'm saying? So he can at 43 years old, down in 43. Or they can come back. Still made it to the wild card. That's the worst in years. So, you know, whatever. Congratulations to them Titans for handling their business, but whatever. You know what I mean? And your boy Watson in Texas came through in a good game against Buffalo. Woo! Good game. But, you know, so it's always things going down, you know, in sport. You know, Liverpool over there. <laughs> Liverpool, let me tell y'all something. Jurgen Club and Liverpool haven't lost in about a year. Okay? In the Premier League. Right? For people that's not into soccer or football, you got six or seven teams in the Premier League that can win. It's not one of them other leagues with only two teams and the other ones you don't know. Jordan Club with Liverpool, who hasn't won the Premier League since 1990, hasn't lost in a year. He's up by about 13 points over Leicester and Man City. It's absolutely ridiculous. And if they're not building a statue out there at Anfield Road right now, somebody's wrong. He's a Champions League. It, well, won it already with him, right? Won it already with him. Been to the finals with him. This is Liverpool we're talking about, right? And lost. Came in second by one point in the Premier League last year and got the nerve to be winning about 13 points. Where Pep Guardiola and Man City then gave up, basically. They're going to concentrate on Champions League. I, you know what? We're about to get an unprecedented. If Zidane Zidane didn't win three times with Real Madrid, I'll be talking some unprecedented stuff going on here. But a lot of coaches and trainers have done some awesome things. But right now, your club in Liverpool is extraordinary. Right, it's really extraordinary. So hone in on it before it's over. If he wins the Premier League with that team, that's awesome. His resume since he's been at Liverpool. So there's sport going on, right? But didn't I say uh, news about boxing? I didn't say that. So that's why we're gonna talk about boxing. Now, boxing is gonna disappoint me in 2020. Anybody that's seen any of my last three videos know, you know, I'm not hyped about 2020 because it ain't gonna be no undisputed fight. And I'm going to keep saying that, right? So everybody can know at the beginning, if you come in, you know, you're not complaining about the sound and that you don't see me in the high pixels and all that stuff. It's a dude just talking about some damn boxing. Hell, you need to see me so good for it. But whatever. If that don't bother you, what it bothers you is the dude likes undisputed. So I don't really have to listen to him because he likes undisputed. He's pessimistic about 2020 because he does not see any undisputed fights or anybody trying to have them, especially the big names. It's only a few big names that would want to have undisputed, have been trying, right? And one of those we're going to talk about, and that's Deontay Wilder, right? Because I'm damn sure he's a big name now, right? He wants undisputed, has been trying for the longest, right? And so we can talk about him and his fight with Tyson Fury because it is for something. Now, I've said something about the fight already, and I've been saying basically Deontay Wilder doesn't have much to gain in this fight, right? I explained it all in that video. But, um, you know, one thing he has to gain is, you know, this is for at least the number one spot where people can stop saying this this one or that one. We have a lot of people that think Tyson Fury is the number one heavyweight and a lot of people think of Deontay Wilder, me among them, that he's the best heavyweight right now, that he should be, should be without question number one spot. But the Tyson Fury thing, they say he beat Deontay Wilder in the fight. I don't agree with that either, but they say it and they're not calculating into who he fought after that. And what Deontay Wilder did to his opposition. Let's switch the opposition. Boom. Dominic Brazil versus Tyson Fury. Luis Ortiz versus Tyson Fury. What happens in those fights? Will it be similar to what Deontay Wilder did? Resounding hell. No. Deontay Wilder versus Swartz and Aldo Wallen. Would it be what Fury did? A resounding hell. Yes. We could have fought directly after the fight we had. Who didn't want to fight? Tyson Fury. Just those alone, those stacks right there with nothing else, forget the records, that alone puts the well, Wilder in front of Fury. Just because of your, your actions, you would want to force Fury, hey man, you're going to have to do a step up. We can't keep, you know, giving this man, you know, this man the business and he ain't really doing nothing, you know, but what he's supposed to and we just keep exalting you over him and you don't want to fight him and you're fighting weaker opposition than he is. We can't continue to do that, right? Well, we can. But some people will, will call you out on it, right? So that's why. But that's just my list. 
And a lot of people's list, Tyson Fury is the number one. So there's an argument there. That's the reason that they're fighting. And that after that fight, there should be a number one. And it shouldn't be no question. Maybe unless Deontay Wilder wins. Then it would be questions. But if, if Wilder wins or the, uh, Tyson Fury of that fight, they're the number one heavyweight. Then you start talking about who the other ones are. But the winner of that fight will be number one. And, you know, the lineal championship, although it's not an official title, Tyson Fury uses it. His promoter uses it. And listen, the man to beat the man. That's what it is. And that's what Tyson Fury is. So, you know, you are a lineal champion too, even though it's not a belt for it. But hey, we just made up another one that's least important. They call it the franchise. We gave it to Lomachenko and, and uh, Canelo Alvarez. And that's going to be important after a few years. And why, why did they make it? People will forget why they made it. Why they made it so you don't have to fight mandatories and you can go fight other stuff. That's why they made it. Make it sound good. Well, you go between visions, divisions, and you know, because you can go to, to, to make the better fights. Right? And neither one of them fights going to other divisions are better than the fights that are in their division right there. The guy that they had to fight is better than any fights they try to have. In Canelo's case, it would have been Charlo. What's a bigger fight than Canelo versus Charlo in Texas? A bigger fight. Fill up any arena, dome, dome, wherever. You know, biggest, biggest stadium you want in Texas. That would be that. There's no bigger fight than that for Canelo, but he's going to keep going to other divisions. Lomachenko and Devil Haney. It's not a bigger fight than, fight than that right now. You know, commercially. Right? So, those are the things that they made with franchise. So, Lineal is a little bit better because Lineal, at least you beat the man who beat the man. So, that's what Tyson Fury is. No matter like it or lump it. So, therefore, there's a little significance in the fight. You guys know I don't, I don't really like the fight. I would like the fight to be or um, your boy Joshua versus Deontay Wilder for Undisputed. But, seeing as though we can't get that, and that's probably off the cards for a long time, <laughs> in my opinion. We do fights like this are okay because it does mean something. They did have some, um, you know, they fought before. It's a controversy there, right? But I don't think all these pay-per-view buys that I hear that might be getting, I don't know. Now, I do know that they're going to be having a lot of uh, people will be aware of this. It's going to be a lot of commercials going on about it, a lot of exposure on Fox and uh, ESPN. So that's going to be good. But I don't know without a knockout being promised by anybody but Wilder. I don't know if that's going to push the paper rise up so much, seeing as though we had that uh, lull in between the two fights. I keep saying, right after that fight, I think it would have happened. But you following up with Swartz and Wallen and saying, you know, and everybody, you know, here's the thing. You watch Tyson Fury highlights, you know, it, it's far in between to see him knocking people out. It's what I keep telling you, hands behind the head, you know, doing this behind. So, you know, all that other stuff, those antics, it's not really highlights. I'm knocking people out and I'm scaring Deontay Wilder fans. That's not the highlights you're seeing. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and, and that's what bottom line is. And so when they're talking about it, Tyson Fury, they talk about, well, his exposure because of the WWE and all of those other things. It's not really the ring. And see, that's what people get mixed up, right? People pay pay-per-view. They want to see somebody get knocked out they, or, or they're really behind somebody a lot or they really think that Deontay Wilder is going to lose, right? And, and, and get beat up. People are hoping for, and I repeat myself, they're hoping for Tyson Fury to outpoint this guy. I don't know if that translates to that many uh, pay-per-view guys. Like, we got somebody that's going to knock Deontay Wild the hell out and we know it. That translates to pay-per-view guys. But let's see. Like I say, bottom line is, even though I'm not happy about the fight, I'm not going to act like I am. I would rather see a different scenario. But there's good fights. And here I'm telling you why. That was one of the reasons why it's still a good fight. And it's still, you know, a 50-50 fight, really, in most people's eyes. I got a little bit more for, for uh, Deontay Wilder. I think it's 60-40. Because I don't think Deontay Wilder is going to come out there with his thing cocked. Just uh, looking for the right hand. But this is Tyson Fury we're talking about. He gets respect. And because of that, 55-45. It's still Tyson Fury. He's way bigger. And he knows how to box. He's been in it for a minute. And he knows what he's doing. Right? So uh, Deontay Wilder is going to have to uh, handle his business. It's going to be up. So my point is, Deontay Wilder does win. No excuses. No talking about somebody else. 
the winner of this fight is the number one heavyweight until they fight for a third time or until somebody comes up and be uh and wants an undisputed fight. Then we can start talking. So with that being said, let's prepare for the fight for number one and thus a legacy fight. Film Sports Talk. Worldwide. And I'm a body of y'all.